besides you, who do you think is the greatest jiu-jitsu competitor of all time? Can you make the case for some of them? Marcelo, Bushesha, Leandro Lowe? I'll have to go with Bushesha because look at the, how many titles he has. I mean, he has by far more than Marcelo. Marcelo stopped quite early. Leandro Lowe has eight, but Bushesha is better than him. What do you think makes Bushesha so good? He's a heavyweight that moves like a lightweight. He's, he moves very fast, but he's very agile for his size. So the uh, the agility combined with aggression. Yeah. So it's very hard to control him because he moves fast and he's 112 kilos, 115 sometimes or 110. I'm not, I'm not sure, but he's about around that. So 240 in, in pounds. So when, you, when you're agile, 200, 240 pounds, that makes it very hard to control you. What about making the case for some others? What about the little guys? What about Marcelo? If you were to make the case for him being the strongest, what makes Marcelo good? Marcelo Garcia is extremely technical. I mean, I think he's he's one of my favorite jujitsu fighters because in, in, in a technical way, I think he's probably one of the best. His raw technique and a bunch of different positions for submissions. He, he's, he's not very powerful. You know, physically, he's not very strong. But he can make himself very strong, and his technique is very, very high level. Have you ever uh, trained with him? No, I fought him twice. Yeah. And so, yeah. Um, <laughs> but he's both, much smaller than me. It's, what happened in those matches? The first fight, I topped him, I think, five minutes. In wh which submission? Choke from the back. Collar choke from the back. And the second time, I beat him by points, but a very large, I, yeah, I think 12-2. Actually, uh, just to continue, uh, I wonder if uh, if John Donahue would agree with you about mountain and back. I can't wait to. This is a bear versus lion conversation. But I'm looking. There's there's statistics about. <laughs> I'm not letting this go. Uh, there's statistics about. Oh, look at that, Hodger! What do you know? Looking at Hodger Gracie's statistics for um, most successful submissions, choke from the back. Yeah, is the most. So, so how do you people explain panic that, Mr. When Scientist? I, because people panic when I'm out. Ah. They turn the back. I yeah. choked them out. That's one explanation. Uh, but for people, it is interesting that, uh, of course, this doesn't capture, but this captures a lot of your major matches. And we should say that you've submitted most of your opponents. So you rarely win on points. You usually win sub submissions. Choke from back is most of them. Then cross choke from mount. Arm bars a lot too. So uh, 18 from choke from back, 12 cross choke, 10 arm bar, uh, 5 RNC rear naked. This is for no gi. Okay. So Ezekiel 2000 in there, and Ezek is very powerful. I took, I used, is a strong weapon. Yeah. Also from out. Also from out. Oh, that's when you can't get the one hand in. No, because the Ezekiel most times I use against people is, is that. Is the attack that as soon as I get to the mount, when they're trying to escape the open up, and I get them, it has to be at that initial hmm. timing. So it's not a thing you use to like bother them no. in order to create. Either, either I get it right right away, or I don't bother trying much. Got it. Because you need to keep one hand behind the head, and that put um, you naturally on that position as soon as you mount most of the times, and. The moment that you mount someone, no one accepts that they go mounted, they're gonna explode to get out. So holding the head, it gives you a better way, way to dominate them initially, you know, to deal with that explosiveness on the begin on the initial, on the beginning. And then, but then you have to let go to try it. You're very limited holding the head. In terms of goats, uh, Shanji, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit that he deserves. He had an extremely dominant performance in, in competition. What about Salo and Shanji Hibero? What are your thoughts about what makes them so good? He had a bunch of tough matches with Shanji. Yeah. And Salo. Eight times. Eight times you fought. Yeah, for eight times, Shanji. I fought Salo once. What? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm bringing up a sore point. Um, oh, did Shanji tap when you... Uh, or, or did the time run out in that? Uh, was the last time you guys faced each other? Yeah, 2008. That was incredible to watch. Uh, 
also. Uh, I think you pull guard with one minute left, working yeah. towards attacking. I mean, it's yeah. it's probably very tough to to get anything. And the, for people who don't know, time ran out. You had a uh, something that looked like an arm lock, and uh, Shanji looked like he may be tapping, but it looked like he might be just celebrating, which is most I'm, likely. I'm, I'm not sure. I th I'm not sure. It was. I'm not sure because I think his arm just just straight his arm time finish. Yeah. So I'm not sure if he was tapping to you know to let go time time times up or because of the outside most likely the time was up. Yeah, and also there's a thing where you start, you realize there's only three, two seconds left. You used to kind of start celebrating. Yeah. You realize that um, Hodger's not gonna be able to finish this arm bar in the time left, so you start celebrating. No, I think he tapped to say the time is up. The time is up. Anyway, what do you think, like the longevity especially is impressive with with uh, with Shanji, how long? I think he doesn't get credit as much as he deserves because he pushed his career very far. And the last few years, he was on his best. So he's, if he would have stopped before, you know, you would, people would remember him on his highest, but he kind of pushed more than his peak, let's say.